So in this video, I want to talk about honesty. I want to talk about being radically honest with yourself while at the same time not being abusive to yourself, not attacking yourself, not beating yourself up, being real and why you might be having trouble in this area, why you might be struggling in this area. And if you are, how it can be really destructive to your life. And so many guys get this wrong and this is why they're not growing and this is why their negative self-talk takes over and can really destroy your life if you're not careful. So let's take a deeper look at this. Before I do, I wanna invite you to stay to the end because if you stay to the end, you're gonna to start to begin to understand the difference between self-attack and being honest with yourself and how if you separate those two, you can really make a radical shift in tearing apart your ego, your subconscious mind, your negative beliefs and so forth. Now, let's dive in. I've talked about this recently in some other videos. I've alluded to it with uh, topics and I've brought it up several times, but I wanted to bring it up directly. It was kind of inspired by a comment that I saw in one of my latest videos. The comment basically said that fearless is always contradicting themselves. On one hand, they're saying you're a nice guy, you gotta stop being a nice guy. On the other hand, don't make anything good or bad, right or wrong. And they said, and so on one hand, they're saying you're a nice guy, piece of shit, and if you don't change, your life is gonna suck. And so how they kind of wrote it. And then on the other hand, you, that's, you're, you're not good or bad. And I wanna point out how we're actually not contradicting ourselves and that that very message is an indication of how this person is being very self-abusive with himself and being self-attacking with himself. You see, when I see a message like that, I realize that this person can't handle feedback. They can't take feedback. They're projecting negativity out of the feedback. If I say you're short, that's neither good nor bad. That you're just short. And that's not even, re that's relative too. Short compared to what? Am I even accurate in saying you're short? Where well, you're short compared to the average guy in the US. Maybe you're 5'2", five 5'1", five five foot. Okay, so you're short. So what? That's neither good nor bad. You're the one that decides if you make that good or bad. By the same token, if I say you're bald is, or I'm bald, is that good or bad? It's neither. If I like being bald, maybe it's a good thing. If I don't like being bald, maybe I project onto it, it's a bad thing. But in reality, deep down, it just means I'm bald. It's the truth of what is. So if I give the feedback, if I give the feedback, you don't want to be a nice guy to get good with women and you want to be free from outcomes and you wanna let go of your nice guy syndrome, otherwise you're gonna have a hard time meeting women and women are gonna reject you, that's neither good nor bad, that just is. If I'm a nice guy and I'm getting rejected by women and I can fully accept that the way it is, I can sit there and go, yeah, I am a nice guy and that's neither good nor bad nor right or wrong. It's just who I'm being today. And that doesn't mean that I'm gonna be that person tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. Matter of fact, if I can fully take inventory of who I'm being today, I can make one, two, three, four, who knows, 5% changes today. I can make some changes today that shift me in a new direction of being. And even that new direction of being is neither good nor bad. Maybe it'll get me more women, more attractive women, better sex. But still, I'm still no better than the old me. I'm ne neither is right or wrong. And that's the realization you want to get that the feedback is just to help you grow into who you want to be. Nice guys typically don't do really well with attractive, confident women, but guys who are really embodied and free from outcome tend to do a lot better. So kind of let this in for a minute. If you want to get better with women, that's a great choice to make. If you don't, don't make it. That is neither good nor bad. If you want to stay a nice guy and you like being a nice guy, and you know you've got the nice guy syndrome, you just don't wanna do the work to change, you'd rather go work on something else. Maybe it's more important that you become an amazing musician, you don't really give a fuck about it. Then that is neither right nor wrong either. Now I'm gonna go back to something I've shared in the past and I hopefully this makes a lot of sense and this will help you bring it home. And then I'm gonna show you how to apply this in your life to make shifts right away. And if you're the one that wrote that comment, hopefully you'll apply this in your life to to change that part of your life. And you can learn to be really honest about how you are actually most likely projecting onto yourself. And that's why that comment was made. But before I do, I wanna invite you to like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification, share, help us to get to that 100,000 mark and put comments in the video. We love those comments. I was just looking through them. That's how I saw this one. And a lot of times I end up creating videos off those com comments and I get new ideas off your comments. So definitely put those in. Now, with that said, let's go a little bit deeper. 
Uh, I've talked about this military officer. I got to look up his name. And I've talked about him in a lot of videos recently. But he was the officer that they asked him how he survived being a prisoner of war for so many years. And he said, it's very simple. You get up each morning, you take inventory of your day. I'm, in a, I'm a prisoner of war. I'm in such and such camp. I'm in such and such country. I've been here this long. There's no sign of rescue. Whatever the truth of the moment is, then you fully accept it the way it is. Then you say, how could I make this the best day possible? And if you do that, and you can fully accept it, that's kind of removing the right and wrong or the good and bad of it. This is my situation. It's neither right nor wrong, good or bad. It just is. And how can I grow from this situation? Well, let's take this whole nice guy principle this guy was talking about in the comment. If he can write down, I have the traits of a nice guy. And can I fully accept that? Can I not make that right or wrong? Um, the nice guy typically doesn't get girls. That At least the nice guy that's nice to a fault that's portraying the nice guy syndrome. Not a guy that's nice by choice. That's very different. And can I accept that the way it is? Yes. Now, what can I do today to change that and grow to the next way of being, the way I want to be? You see, if we don't acknowledge our starting point, we can't get to another point of being. If we make our starting point wrong, which is what he just did, or he made fearless wrong for making his starting point wrong because he was reactive to it, then that keeps him stuck in that. There's something that got triggered in that moment that made him put that comment. And if he shifted and said, wait a minute, I'm either a nice guy or I'm not. Maybe I'm not a nice guy and that's neither right or wrong. Maybe I am a nice guy and that's neither, that's neither right or wrong. It all just is. Now, what can I do today if I am a nice guy to be a little bit less of a nice guy? What can I do today to be a little bit more free from outcome? And in six months, who knows, maybe I'll be totally free from outcome. Just like a bodybuilder. If you want to put on five pounds of muscle, you've got to acknowledge the weight that you're at right now. Maybe you're skinny fat. That's just the truth of who you are. I used to be skinny fat. And if I can acknowledge my body fat, my, my muscle mass, you know, the amount of muscle mass to fat ratio I've got in my body and be really honest and not fight it and not make it right or wrong, good or bad, then I can do something about it. But if I go into denial, I get mad, I blame the scale, I blame my body, I blame my parents, I blame my genetics, and I get upset, it's going to be much harder to make that transition. And we could blame society for calling me skinny fat. What a horrible name. Society is judging me. And the society is telling me I'm a piece of shit. No, society is just telling you you're skinny fat. That's all it means. And that's the transition that you want to ultimately make. And so that's the realization I had to come to. I was resisting being skinny fat. And when I finally accepted and said, what's the real work I have to do? That's when my life began to change. And I was able to put on more muscle and I was actually able to change my body. Same thing with my dating life. In the beginning, I didn't want to accept that I was bad with women. I didn't want to accept that I actually made women run the other way. I thought that was a bad thing. I thought that meant something bad about me. But looking back, it didn't mean anything about me other than women ran the other way. And I've run into a lot of people over the years that I could, I could tell them how much I've changed. They really just don't give a rat's ass. They, their attitude is, okay, great. Now you can get more women. Big deal. You know, in their mind's eye, that's, that's whatever. Now let's go do what I love to do, which is skiing or snowboarding or jumping out of planes. Maybe they don't even give a fuck about going and meeting more women. And I think it's so important. So I make it right or wrong, good or bad, but they don't. So look at that part of your life. What are you making right or wrong? What are you making good and bad? What are you judging about yourself? What, and this is the big one, what would other people say, you know, you're skinny fat, you're a nice guy, you're this. What, what, what way of being, what statement do you hear that you automatically take as a judgment against you? Like when I hear somebody say, you're kind of a nice guy, aren't you? I get really hurt inside. I take it personal, even though they may not have meant it that way. They may have meant it in a genuine, affectionate sort of way. And if you were really free from that comment, if you were truly free, you would just say thank you. So if you want to understand more about these principles, and I did bring up the nice guy, definitely check out Dr. Glover's book, No More Mr. Nice Guy. It's an amazing book, an amazing read. It'll help you to get through and understand how to break through the nice guy. If you want to learn more about being embodied as a man, 
and being more powerful as a man, definitely check out my book, The Art of Fearless Seduction. We'll put a link in here somewhere and you can check that out. Um, it's, a, it's a great way to start learning some of these principles to radically shift your life in the direction that you want to go, if this is the direction you want to go. And also check out our events page, thefearlessman.com, events. Um, I think it's uh, forward slash events, but you can, you'll can you see it on the website. And check out the, the Experience Workshop, our flagship workshop for dating. That workshop has changed hundreds if not thousands of lives over the years and help men become more embodied, more powerful, more confident, because that's literally what we work on. You get to not only work with the beautiful models, but you get to get in front of the camera and really see life transforming changes. So definitely check that out too. And a good video for you to watch if you haven't watched it already is my previous video on struggle, starting and stopping, and how we start and stop because we're stuck in a struggle. And that's what that video is really about. And that's how that struggle holds us back and keeps us from becoming who we want to be because we're judging ourselves so much. And that video really kind of plays with the same idea from a slightly different angle. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell notification so you get every video. Make sure to share, help us grow the channel, help us at 100K so we can start bringing you better content. And also make sure to comment. We love those comments. That's how I got this video. Like I said uh, earlier, that I read a comment, inspired me to do this video. And as always, remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.